But where does the, the support come from for this engine? Where does the firewall forward and fuel system come from? Okay, good, good question. It's actually a company called Skytech. They're up in uh, British Columbia in Canada. Uh, they teamed up with uh, Rotec, I think is the name of the company, if I recall right, in Canada. And they engineered the fuel system that I actually have in the airplane. They highly tested it. Um, so the firewall forward kit, as, it, as it's called, basically all of that came from Skytech. Uh, and like I said, they, they did a lot of engineering. I've got a what they call a header uh, tank in the back. The wings, uh, fuel tanks, individually feed into the header tank. Uh, the header tank then feeds into the uh, the rest of the the fuel system, but all of that is by Sky by Skytech the design. So, in a, in a short list, what what pieces and parts came from Skytech? For oh this? golly, a short list. Uh, well, first of all, the in, the engine mount, uh, the ring mount for the Rotax comes from Rotax. So the engine mount came. Um, my goodness, I got to stop and think myself. Um, all of the header tank installation came. All the hoses basically f from the wings to the header tank all the hoses from there to the uh, fuel valve, uh, the on-off fuel valve in the, in the airplane came from there. The valve itself uh, came from Skytech. Uh, the, the fuel filters, the uh, fuel lines, all of it was uh, Skytech. So basically it's from the fuel tanks to the actual input into the injection header in the, in the engine. Virtually all of that comes from Skytech. Jim, and, you mentioned earlier about this uh, installation included a header tank in, in their fuel system. You want to explain how that either works or is installed? Okay, sure. Well, first of all, physically, um, I'll pull the seat forward here a little bit. And maybe you can see a little better. This is actually the header tank right here. So these are the hoses that are coming in, individual hoses from the fuel tank. There's actually two fuel lines feeding to the tank. One is a return line that returns the fuel to the to fuel tanks. The other one is uh, the feed line. The reason for that is it's a fuel injected engine. So you've actually got about four times, the, well, even more than four times the amount of fuel that circulates through the uh, engine. Uh, and this is just the, the normal operation of a fuel injected system. Um, as far as these lines coming across here, these are actually the two lines that feed from the right tank. This, is, uh, this valve right here gives me the ability, if I'm feeding a little bit more fuel from the left tank than I am the right tank, I can open this up and rebalance the tanks and it works very well. It, it, it sort of helps me transfer the loads from one wing uh, to the other. Um, from the header tank, well, first of all, the reason for the header tank is probably an important thing. Uh, if, if you could see the fuel tanks in the wings, you could put an airplane in a, in a position where it does what they call unporting the fuel feed. Now that sounds terrible, but what it really is is that for a moment or two, there might be a flight condition that the airplane is in where there is no feed coming from the uh, particular tank. However, the, the header tank holds about a gallon. So, and those are usually momentary things that occur. Uh, so what this keeps from happening, obviously, with no fuel, the engine to quit. So with the header tank, it prevents that from ever occurring. It just won't occur. Um, so that's pretty much where the header's at. From there, there's a couple of fuel lines the fuel lines feed behind these panels right here up to the firewall. This is actually the uh, fuel selector off and on. Uh, the valve itself is actually mounted on the front on the firewall. I don't know if you can see that or not, Brian. But, yeah, we got but, that. Yeah, it's on the front. So I can shut the fuel off going to the engine, and that's what that's for. Uh, so like right now, it's in the off position. And or of course, normally I'd be turning it on. And then the fuel return just simply is another one of the lines uh, coming back and it flows into the uh, header tank through a check valve. And Jim, you mentioned before we're talking off camera about this sure. valving that's up here and yeah. ironically only goes to one wing tank. Can you explain the why to that? Yeah, well, uh, I think it was just the engineering of Skytech. I think they decided certainly you could put two valves in so you could isolate either one of the tanks. I just think that that was their, uh, their consideration to, to maintain a constant feed from the left tank and balance everything just from the right tank. Makes it a little more simple, perhaps. We are partnering with great companies like Dynon Avionics at Dynon.com, AirTech Coatings at AirTechCoatings.com, Clemens Insurance at ClemensInsurance.net, The Aviators Clinic at AviatorsClinic.com. 
Diamond Doors at DiamondDoors.com. Flying Eyes at FlyingEyesOptics.com. Take a moment to go visit their websites at the links found below in the description of this video. And visit our website at ExperimentalAircraftChannel.com for events, our video library arranged in easy to find playlists on specific topics, affiliate products, aviation merchandise, and so much more.